Hey guys, in this video, you will learn how you can verify your catch all emails in the last five minutes completely for free. Shout out to Matt Lucero, who actually taught me this trick. And that's something I wanted to share with you as well. So let's get started. Well, the first thing is no matter where you get your leads from, you'll always have catch all emails inside your list. Businesses usually set up these addresses so that they can receive all emails which are being sent to their domain. The problem is those mailboxes sometimes might not even exist. So for example, if somebody emails you at info at your company.com at contact at your company.com, you will receive those emails regardless whether you have created those mailboxes or not if you have a catch-all email function enabled on your domain. And that's what a lot of companies have, right? And it works in a dynamo effect. So contacting catch-all addresses will cause your emails to bounce. High bounce rate will damage your sender reputation. Damaged sender reputation will make your emails go to spam. Spammed emails will lower your reply rates. Lower reply rates will get you no calls. No calls will get you no clients. And no clients will kill your business. So one solution is to completely exclude catch-all emails from your campaigns, but that will significantly reduce your list size, especially if you have a limited total addressable market, right? And another solution is to validate your catch-all emails inside Google Sheets 100% for free and in last day five minutes. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video. So I'll go to the Google Sheets right here, where you upload the CSV that contains your catch-all or also known as risky emails, right? So what you do next to the right of email column, I don't know where you'll have it, but wherever you have on the right to email column, what you will do is you will add an email status. Uh, you'll copy this email column into the second one. And in the third column, you'll write equal not A1 equal B1. And you'll apply this to all the rows. That's what you want to do. Uh, then you'll go here in the second email column and you'll click smart chips and convert to people chip. So as you can see, you'll have two outputs. One is false, one is true. Okay, so you, what you want to do, you want to <clears throat> filter out all the false ones and delete them. But before you do that, just change this to whatever you want, right? So then create a filter, look for false ones only, delete all false rows, and then you remove the folder and voila. That's what you have. You have like valid email addresses. If you're not sure what actually valid email address is and how you can identify that, whenever you move your mouse cursor to the email, it will either show you their profile picture or just a circle like, let me show you. Like this, for example, with a color in it, right? Uh, but when you cannot find anybody with profile picture or if they don't have any color and if it's gray let's say that means that's a catch-all email so a lot of times people hire like professionals on upwork to manually do this for them but you can do this in less day in less than five minutes completely for free and what you'll need to do to finalize this process you'll just delete these two columns that you've added in the beginning and that's it you will now only have a filtered list with valid emails, valid catch-all emails that you can email without any problems. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, anything I might help you with, if you need help with the generation for your B2B agency, I will leave my social links in the description and a link to the website as well. And yeah, see you later. Peace.